Hi everyone. Today we are looking at capital recovery. Capital recovery. So capital recovery is the annuity of an investment for a specific period at a given rate of interest. So we have learned about annuity to be defined as a sum of money received or paid at a regular interval over a period of time. That is annuity. Is it that you receive or a payment in which you make or you receive at a regular interval over a period of time? That is annuity. So in this case now, if an investor invests his money, invested his money probably in a bank, so it tends to do what to measure, it tends to know, to calculate how much he will be receiving in order to do in order for him, he will be receiving from that investment, in order for him to do or to recover his what is capital. That is what we call what capital recovery. If you are invested your money over a period of time. So how much you now be receiving on a monthly on, on a periodic basis for you to do what to recover your capital. That's what I'm looking at under capital recovery. You say this is annuity of an investment for a specific period, specified period, at a given rate of interest. In which we are invested, there will be interest on it, uh, investments. So how much will we now be receiving over the period of time, over a regular interval? For you to do what to, to recover what you have invested, in which in the long run has what yield interest. So, therefore, if we are trying to calculate that to determine that, this is the formula to use, which is what A is equal to P, open the bracket, R, open another bracket, 1 plus R raised to the power N, we close it, raised to the power N. So, everything all over 1, open the bracket, 1 plus R raised to the power N, minus 1. Where A is equal to full shop value, P is the principal, R is the interest rate, Y N is number of years in which you have invested, number of years, as the case may be. So, for example, Mr. Ben plans to invest 100,000 today for a period of four years. If the interest rate is 10% per annum, how much income per annum must he receive in order to recover his investment? As simple as that, in order to recover his investment. So this is the formula we are going to apply. And I said the question says, how much, how much income per annum? Can you see an 80 as covered there? You must be receiving per annum. You say we know we divide an to be what? Receipt or payment. Mm -hmm. a period of giving period of time. Okay, how much must how much income per annum must he receive in order to recover his investments? So, in doing that, we are going to, we are going to apply the formula here. Where a is the future value, a is what you want to calculate. I mean, that is what you want to be receiving per annum. Per annum. So, is equal to p is the principal what you have invested, which is hundred. Hundred. Open a bracket. So R, what is R in this case? Our R is 10%. That is 0 0.1. 10% is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1. 0.1. Open a bracket. 1 plus R. 1 plus R. R is 10%. 1 plus 10%. That is 1 plus 0 0.1. That is 1 point 0. 1.1. Okay, the one will be higher there. So 1.1. Raised to power, what is n? 4. Number of years, 4. Okay, you close it. You close it. So everything all over, all over 1, open a bracket, 1, plus how, all over 10%, that is 1.1. Raised to power n, 4, minus 1. Which will now give us the 
Okay, so let's expand this. It tends to expand the okay, let's see how it's 100,000. Okay, so in the process of expanding, you have to do this 1.1 is equal to our cost. So, and then multiply it by 0 0.1. 1.4 raised to power 1.1 raised to power 4 multiplied by 0 0.1. So by that we will be having let's do it with our calculator. We do that. We are going to have so press the calculator 1 0.14641. 0 0.14641 641 okay so you have expanded this so to have it there so everything all over all over when, when you expand this to 1.1 to the power 4 minus 1 so that let's place our calculator so, if you press the calculator, you're going to have 0 0.4641. So, by that, so 100 multiplied by 100. So, let's press our calculator 100. Multiply by 0 0.14641. So we have 13. We have 14. 14, 641. 641. 641 divided by 0 0.4641. So divided by 0 0.4641. We have it to be 31,000. So our final answer will now be what? 31. 31,000. 31,000. 547. 547. Okay, So this is now be, this is what Mr. Ben will be receiving on an annual basis. In order for him, so we will receive him on this for the for four years. In order for him to do what to, to recover uh, his capital, his investment. So that is the question on what capital recovery. And this is a formula. You having such issue, you should just apply your formula. You get the interest rate, apply the formula, and you are going to do what to get uh, the annual amount to be what to be received. For him to recover his investment. On this note, we say thank you for today, and very soon we shall be having our subsequent videos. And like I normally say, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. You can share share these videos with your loved ones, with student preparing for examinations. So share with them, with our finance managers, financial finance managers, entrepreneurs. Please share with them. So. And we appreciate what you are doing here. Thank you and God bless.